verse for today is in Mark chapter 2, verses 8 and 9. Immediately, Jesus knew in his spirit that this was what they were thinking in their hearts, and he said to them, Why are you thinking these things? Which is easier to say to the paralytic, Your sins are forgiven, or say, Get up, take your mat, and walk. This was the response, friends, when the people around were questioning his authority to forgive sins. He said to the man that was paralyzed, Your sins are forgiven. Here, friends, the Lord Jesus Christ was trying to relate sin and sickness. Because when he said that your sins are forgiven, he was actually wanting that this man be healed. That's why he said that your sins are forgiven. And the people were mad because he said, who is this that forgives a sin? And so Jesus said to them, which is easier to say, your sins are forgiven or take up your mat and walk. Well, friends, as far as the Lord Jesus Christ is concerned, when he releases his forgiveness, healing comes. And so today, friends, which is easier to say, your sins are forgiven or take up your mat and walk. Well, today, understand this. It is easier to say your sins are forgiven. And the Lord Jesus Christ is telling you today, your sins are forgiven. And as your sins are forgiven, then take up your mat and walk. If you are sick today, get up. That's what he was saying, friends. Just believe that he forgives sin. Because there are sicknesses that have been caused by sin. And because of that, when the cause of the sickness is removed, which is sin, then healing comes. So, friends, believe today that Jesus heals and Jesus forgives sin. And if you have sinned, friends, repent of that sin, that your sin may be forgiven, and as you are forgiven, that you may be restored to health. It's better, friends, for us to admit that we have sinned, because we have all sinned anyway. In many ways we have sinned. Maybe the sin that you're thinking about could not be related to that sickness that you have, but somehow you, you have sinned somewhere, and it has caused this sickness. And therefore, friends, admit and ask the Lord, Lord, whatever sin that I've committed, forgive me, Lord. You know all things, nothing can be hidden before you, and repent of those things. Maybe you're thinking about a big sin that you created. Maybe not. Maybe that, that's not the cause of the sickness. Maybe something that's small to you. But as far as God is concerned, it's critical. That's why there is the consequence of the sin, which is sickness. So, repent, friends. Just ask the Lord that, Lord, search my heart. And reveal to me the very sin that I've committed that, that caused me this sickness. Maybe you have abused your body. You didn't consider your body as the temple of the Holy Spirit. That's why you're sick. Because you ate anything that you wanted. Maybe people will restrain you in the past not to eat those things, but you're stubborn. They taste good, well, and that's why you indulge yourself in those food. But now you are reaping the consequence. So ask the Lord, even for that, friends, ask the Lord to forgive you for your inability to restrain yourself, to restrain your appetite towards some a food that had caused you this sickness. Ask the Lord to forgive. And maybe there are other sins that you've committed. So ask the Lord, Lord, whatever sins I've committed, I'm sorry. Now, release your forgiveness. And as you release your forgiveness, Lord, I receive my healing. And believe, friends, believe. And act on it. And believe, and you are healed. According to the mighty power of the blood of Jesus that was shed on the cross, you are healed. Because it's the same blood, friends, that will wash away your sins. And this is what will wash away your sickness. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May he lift up his countenance on you and give you his 
Peace. Shalom. God bless. See you next time.